Hello and welcome to a brand new adventure. So I just happened to be in Leeds today and I thought while I'm here I want to make a video. Now there is a lot of things I want to do in Leeds but they're not worthy enough of their own video because they're just not that detailed. And we're going to start here on Northern Street in Leeds and this rather curious looking thing right next to me that looks like a post box but it isn't. So this rather curious looking pillar, shall we say, just on the corner of Northern Street is actually a vent. If you can just see through there, you can see the vent in there. And basically, there is rumours that there's an old tunnel that runs all the way up Northern Street and Queen Street up there. And there is another vent just round that corner, which I'll show you in a second. But there's many rumours as to what the tunnel is that used to be here. Some people say it was an old connection from the old Leeds Central Station and beyond to some other places further up. Some people say it was from the old power station that used to be located down here at Whitehall. And also, some people say it's post office tunnels. Nobody knows for sure, but what we do know is that they are still here under the ground, or some of them are, because the vents are still visible. Now, I do believe, as we head up to the next one, there used to be more vents on the way up to the route here. But I think one or two of them have been, uh, oh, they're long gone now anyway. This is one that remains and there's also one just up here. So I'll catch up with you just further up on Queen Street. So here we are, probably 500 yards further up the road now on Queen Street. And again, another one of those vents here. And you can see from the flaking paintwork that it used to be a blue or turquoisey colour. They're now black, probably to disguise them a little bit. This one's a bit lower than the other one. You can't actually see anything inside, but they do look very old. Now, the one, in fact, this one's actually moved a little bit off its mouldings there. The one further down actually had a stamp on it that was from the iron makers that made these in Bradford. Well, there you go. We don't know for sure what they are. If you've got any ideas what you think they might be, drop them in the comments below. What we're going to do now is move on a bit further east and to the next place. So we're now stood at the intersection of Bond Street and Park Row. And this used to be a main thoroughfare back in the day from left to right across here. One of the main roads, not today. It's all pedestrianized. But this used to be the site of Britain's first permanent traffic lights, believe it or not, right here on this junction. It's believed that they were built in 1928. As you can see today, there is still traffic lights there today, but they're for the crossing. You don't need them today. Like I said, it's now pedestrianized. But you wouldn't believe how many traffic lights we've got all over the UK now. <laughs> One of the first ones was right here. Our final stop for today is this little unassuming traffic island in between Marsh Lane and East Street in Leeds. And if you just take a look on this traffic island, there is what appears to be a bridge sat in the middle of it. Well, that is exactly what it is. Let's go take a closer look. So here we go. Here's the remains of an old bridge just sat here. And I would have been stood on top of that bridge right now on what would have been the main road through. As you can see today, it's now all this modern junction here in between all these new, new developments in Leeds. You know what it's like these days, everything changes completely. But yeah, this old bridge here is known as the Timble Bridge. And it's the same on both sides. So this, like I said, used to carry a lane across what used to be an open Culver or river, shall we say, right here. Mm -hmm. 
and it basically heads down to the River Air just behind this building here and dumps out all the water down there. But it comes from a load of tributaries high up in Leeds at the back. So this obviously is Timble Bridge and it used to head over Timble Beck, as you would imagine. All of this obviously has been rebuilt or built over it over the many decades. It's now culverted underneath here and God knows where it goes now, but it used to be open. Not that long ago either. Even sections of it were still visible not that long ago. But as far as I know, it, it literally heads underneath somewhere high up on Marsh Lane now and disappears until it heads out down to the canal or the river down there and pops out in a concrete culvert. Now, whether the alignment of the culvert is still under here, I'm not sure. I think it might be right here. It could also be diverted somewhere else now. But keep your eyes peeled on the channel because I am planning on walking inside this culvert at some point in the future. I've been promised by Martin Zero and also Roy, who's gonna take me in there. And we're gonna head from the River Air upstream or even downstream, we're not sure yet. But that will be coming up in the future. And apparently, so I'm told, you could see this bridge from inside that culvert at one point. I'm not sure if you still can. Yeah, how fascinating is this? Right in the middle of a traffic island. I spotted it so many times on the way into Leeds and wondered, what is that? Now I know what it is. And now you do too. But anyway, thanks for joining me on that short video on a few curiosities in Leeds. I am currently working on some large projects for the channel, hence why this week's video is a short one. But I'll see you soon for more adventures. Bye for now.